This video will show you how to replace a carburetor on your Champion dual fuel generator. This video can be used for the following models. Always turn off your engine and let it completely cool before working on your unit. Ensure that the engine switch and fuel valve are in the off positions. Remove the spark plug cap and always leave it disconnected when working on your unit. Step 1. Undo the clips and remove the air cleaner cover and foam filter and remove the four bolts using an 8mm socket. Then remove the separator and locate the two inner bolts, and remove them using a 10mm socket. Step 2. Remove the two rubber hoses from the back of the air cleaner base, and remove the rear support bolt using a 10mm wrench. Then remove the air cleaner base and any used gaskets. Step 3. Locate the choke lever and lift upwards to remove it. Use a pair of pliers to loosen the clip and disconnect the gasoline fuel line from the carburetor. Then use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the LPG hose clamp and disconnect the propane fuel line from the carburetor. Step 4. Follow the black wire from the solenoid and disconnect the two green wires from behind the panel. Then use a flathead screwdriver to remove the wire clip from the engine shroud. Step 5. Slide the carburetor partway off the studs. Then carefully disconnect the throttle return spring and lift upwards to remove the governor rod. Then slide the old carburetor fully off the studs. Step 6. Always use new gaskets and slide your new carburetor partially onto the studs. Reconnect the governor rod and then the throttle spring. Then slide the carburetor fully onto the studs. Now follow these steps in reverse to complete the installation. Reconnect the green solenoid wires and replace the wire clip. Firmly reconnect the propane fuel line and tighten the clamp. Then reconnect the gasoline fuel line and secure with the clip. Replace the choke lever. Then replace the air cleaner base, tighten the 10mm nuts, and tighten the rear support bolt. Reinsert both rubber hoses into the back of the air filter, then replace the separator, tighten the four bolts, and replace the air filter, and secure the cover. Lastly, firmly reattach the spark plug cap. Your new carburetor installation is complete. Always follow the safety guidelines in your operator's manual. And for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.